Hi there everyone and welcome back to another video and what a week this has been both for the game and for my channel. Now I don't think anybody could have missed the fact that this week saw the release of one of the biggest updates to Battlefield 2042 in the form of update 3.2 and the return of the class system. Now I'll keep it short I have been playing it for a little while since it was released just this week and I'm having a great time with it. I was really really looking forward to seeing the return of the class system and so far it's not disappointed. Yes it looks like there's going to need to be some balancing and some tweaks and although you could argue that perhaps it should already have been there in the game from the start it's clear that the players have been listened to and the work that has been put in has paid off. I am especially liking, I have to say, the new loadout screen and the way that you can set up and customise your characters. These are now split up into the different classes. I'm not going to go too deep into that because obviously it is being covered to death on lots of YouTube channels. Lots of the big YouTubers have already covered that. And in this video I'm going to run through some of the things that perhaps they won't mention and as usual take a look at Portal. In addition to that, it's been a great week for my YouTube channel. I just want to very quickly say a big thank you to everybody who has clicked the subscribe button for me over the last 12 months. I finally hit my first target of 1000 subscribers and it's been quite a long journey to get here. But here we are finally and I could not have done that without your support. I see this is the start of the journey so moving on we'll be setting new targets. Going on hopefully getting bigger and better got lots more guides to come and i will be keeping you up to date with all things battlefield 2042 and portal when i spot something that i think you all might be interested in if you are new here as always please do consider hitting the subscribe button helping me on the way to bigger and better things and maybe click the like button on the video helps me with the youtube algorithm anyway let's crack on and have a look at these changes to portal that have come with update 3.2 So before we get started on this and have a look at the changes that you can make through Portal in your experiences, it's worth just taking a moment to have a look at what the changes look like in the game so that then we can appreciate what things we can change about this and what it is currently not possible to change. So if we take a quick look at the new loadout and character selection screen, you will see that all of the specialists are now listed across the top along with their loadout just underneath. And you'll see that each of those specialists is split up into a different class, all grouped under the assault, support, engineer and recon class. If we want to change our loadout, we will select a specialist. Once we have selected a specialist, you will see that you get some information about the specialist at the top on the left, which details the information about the specialist you've selected. So it will show what their specialist gadget is, which is the gadgets that we are used to seeing from the specialists. The new addition to classes, which is the class proficiency, which is the special extra that you get with a character of a specific class. For example, if you select a specialist that is listed under the assault class category, you get the new assault class proficiency, which is they can carry an additional couple of magazines with them when they start that other characters don't get. Once you've selected your specialist, you can go into the loadout selection and nothing has changed with the weapon selection. So each specialist under each class can select whichever weapon they prefer. There's unlimited selection of weapons, but restrictions have now been placed on which gadgets and throwable weapons you can select. This is based on the class that you've selected. And it's this feature that people have asked for. I have to say as a long time Battlefield fan, this kind of class system really makes a lot of sense to me. If you see an engineer class character on the battlefield you'll know that you can go to them or they can come to you to repair maybe if you are in a vehicle if you see a support character on the battlefield you will know that they are able to revive and maybe you want to take them out before uh, taking out the rest of a squad for example it's all about giving you extra information while you're on the battlefield this class system works broadly similar the way that it has done in the past so if we look at the loadout now we will see that if we select a specialist then go into the loadout and select their gadget now if we look at their gadgets you will see that there is a limited number of gadgets available 
that is suitable for their class and any other gadgets that might have been available previously when we had unlimited selection they've all disappeared and they will have been moved into different classes and if we scroll over and have a quick look at the throwables the same principle applies there we don't get the full selection of throwables we get the selection of throwables that are available for our class now as brilliant as this is and as much as long-term battlefield fans have wanted the reintroduction of the class system not everybody is happy with this change and there are plenty of players who preferred the old system of being able to select whatever throwable you wanted whatever gadget you wanted no matter what character you have chosen you might say they wanted unrestricted access to all weapons gadgets and throwables and that's where we turn to portal and have a little look at the changes that you can make in portal to be able to do that in your own experiences so here we are once again in the portal web editor and i've got an experience open and i have to say that this is probably going to be one of the easiest modifications that you will ever make to a mod and if you don't have any experience using the portal editor don't be worried this is really very easy so what we're looking here at doing is undoing the changes that were made through the class system and allowing you to have unlimited selection of gadgets and unlimited selection of throwables and get rid of those little class proficiencies if you want to go really all the way back to the way that 2042 was before the implementation of classes. So here we are in the experience. I'm going to tell you that it doesn't really matter which game mode we select, but in order to do this, you don't need to go anywhere near the rules editor. So we will do this in Conquest, but the same changes apply to Rush and Conquest Large and any of the custom modes as well. So I'm going to click on Conquest. We have to choose our game mode. We're going to stick a map in there. It doesn't really matter. So I will just stick Breakaway in there. We're going to skip all the other options and the new toggles, the new options that you're looking for will be found under Modifiers and Gameplay. So if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, you will see that there are these two additions to the modifiers in the gameplay section and you can see we've got unrestricted 2042 gadget selection and unrestricted 2042 throwable selection. Brilliant that we can adjust both or just one of them. So we already have unrestricted selection of weapons, um, but let's say that we want to have each class be able to select all the gadgets. It's as simple as turning on unrestricted 2042 gadget selection and that takes you all the way back to the way it was before classes were introduced and the same for the throwable selection. Now at the top of the screen, you will see what the loadout selection looks like now. And you will see as I go through the specialists and look at the gadget selection that is available. Now that I've turned on unrestricted gadget and throwable selections, you will see that for each specialist, I now have available all of the gadgets as it was before. Now what you can't do is remove the classes themselves altogether. From the selection screen, you can see that the specialist still fits under a class. They will remain. The class icons will still remain on the scoreboard. An icon will still appear over each player's head, indicating what that player's current class is. But to all intents and purposes, we are almost back to the way that it was before. So there you go. You want to get rid of the restricted gadget selection, restricted throwable selection, pop into your game mode, go into the modifiers, and under gameplay change those two toggles. Now the other thing that you can do if you want to just wind back all together, we also had the addition of these class proficiencies. We can now activate or deactivate those under the restrictions. So I'm just gonna go into the restrictions and teams. I'm gonna select Battlefield 2042 because that's where we are going to find it. And then I'm going to select at the bottom the gadgets so here we are in the gadgets and underneath the gadgets, these are the standard character gadgets that come with each of the specialists. And obviously you can enable or disable those to your heart's content as you could before. But you'll also see that we have two new categories, which are the class gadgets and the class weapon proficiencies. We'll just start off with the class gadgets and here's where the bad news is. That even if you put unrestricted class gadgets on, you still will not have access to these class gadgets within the gadget selection tool. These have been moved into the specialist gadgets category. So if you want an insertion beacon as one of your gadgets, you will still need to choose the recon class. So the insertion beacon goes into the recon class, the med pen goes to the assault, 
repair tool for the engineer and the defibs go to the support class so basically you can't get those gadgets back into the gadget selection screen so you can't be an assault and choose an insertion beacon those four gadgets are still restricted to the classes you can of course see underneath there as well the class weapon proficiencies and if we look at the assault proficiency you will see that this gadget is only available to players who choose to play the assault class as these are directly linked to the classes as well you can enable or disable these but there's no option to um, switch them between classes or whatever it is that you might want to do if you want to go back to the way that it was with the unrestricted uh, weapons gadgets and throwables and you want to remove the class weapon proficiencies to get it as close back to how it originally was you can obviously just deselect those and the class weapon proficiencies will no longer be added to the class but you can't get those class gadgets back those four class gadgets now belong to the class and or not unrestricted so just to recap before we finish if you want to go back to the way that it was before so 2042 as it originally was before the classes were introduced you can nearly get there simply go into the modifiers select gameplay switch those two toggles on go into restrictions and gadgets and select deselect the gadgets that you want the only thing you're not going to get access to is these class gadgets there and you're not going to remove the classes altogether because they're going to appear above the specialists and that's the end of this video that's the end of my little overview of the new additions i hope you found that useful like i say for the vast majority of people this is going to be a very simple change for me i am really really happy that the class system has come it works brilliantly for me but I'm also impressed that there's been consideration to how to make this flexible for players, how to keep within the spirit of Portal and allow Portal to be able to change things to make unique experiences. Do you want an experience where nobody has the class weapon proficiencies, but the classes are still there? You, you can do it. If you want to have it so that everybody has unrestricted throwables, but the gadgets are still restricted, you can do it. All of the options are there, great work. Tinker away to your heart's content. Let me know, what do you think? Do you think that these changes are welcome? Are you pleased with the tools that you've been given in Portal? Or would you have liked to see something different? And if you've got all the way to the end of this video, and watched it all the way through, well done. Most people don't get this far. So if you are currently unsubscribed, don't forget, click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching it to the end. I do need those watch minutes. So if you keep it playing, that is brilliant for me. Thanks everybody for watching. Got tons of stuff coming up. Take care, everybody, and I will speak to you next time. See you later, everybody. Ta-ra.